Today is a Thursday, September 28, 2023. Pakistan's beggar epidemic in the Middle East sparks trust issues. Islamabad, Pakistan, the proliferation of professional beggars, once a notorious issue confined to the streets and squares of Pakistan, has now transcended national boundaries, sparking growing concerns in countries across the Middle East, including Saudi Arabia and Iraq. Startling statistics shared with senators revealed that 90% of professional beggars apprehended in Middle Eastern nations originate from Pakistan. This concerning trend has begun to affect the image and reputation of overseas Pakistanis. In a heated session of the Standing Committee of Overseas Pakistanis, chaired by Senator Manzo Urkaker, Secretary Overseas Pakistanis Zulfikar Haider expressed his deep frustration and sounded the alarm regarding the insufficient action taken to address this escalating issue. Haider unveiled disquieting details about the extent of the problem, highlighting its repercussions on overseas Pakistanis standing abroad. Haider disclosed that these beggars are leaving Pakistan and Massey, often embarking on dangerous journeys by boatloads. They exploit Umrah and visit visas to beg from pilgrims in foreign lands. He underscored that the prisons in Iraq and Saudi Arabia now house numerous Pakistani beggars, thereby further tarnishing the reputation of Pakistanis abroad. Perhaps the most alarming facet of this phenomenon is the erosion of trust in overseas Pakistanis. Haider lamented that Pakistanis are increasingly regarded with suspicion in foreign countries, leading to a surge in deportations. He emphasized that Iraq and Saudi Arabia have consistently complained about Pakistan sending criminals to their nations, resulting in overcrowded jails. This has evolved into a grave issue that can be likened to human trafficking. During the same meeting, Senator Rana Mahmoodul Hassan highlighted another critical issue, the underrepresentation of skilled Pakistani labor abroad. He contrasted Pakistan's performance with neighboring countries like India, Nepal, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka, which have significantly contributed to countries like Japan regarding skilled professionals. In stark contrast, Pakistan has dispatched a mere 200 individuals to Japan. Hassan underscored the urgent necessity for Pakistan to intensify its efforts in sending skilled labor abroad, especially considering the evolving demands of countries like Saudi Arabia which now require highly skilled professionals. He pointed out that Pakistan has approximately 50,000 unemployed engineers, highlighting the need to redirect efforts toward sending skilled labor overseas. The Secretary of Overseas Pakistanis informed the committee about establishing a skilled center in Saudi Arabia and emphasized the substantial presence of 1,600,000 Pakistanis in the UAE and 200,000 in Qatar. He stressed the importance of sending skilled professionals such as engineers, nurses, IT experts, and individuals from the paramedical and pharmaceutical sectors to enhance Pakistan's reputation on the international stage. Thanks for watching and subscribing to the channel.